Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Doug and uh, today I wanted to talk to you about a baseball cap topic, but it's actually a new product that I got to use um, in shaping and stretching and manipulating my baseball caps. So if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I use steam a lot to shape my baseball caps or stretch them or uh, change the crown shape or whatever. For either tailors or milliners, um, steam is such an important tool because it um, combines heat and moisture in a way that makes textiles really relax, smooth out. You can manipulate a lot of things with the heat and the moisture that you uh, give to a garment or a cap with steam. So it's been used for centuries in that capacity and that's why I stick with it for manipulating the baseball caps. So I often use a teapot as the source for steam, but what I wanted to do was kind of put that head to head with a portable garment steamer. Um, so these are pretty prevalent. There's tons of them out there on Amazon and other sources. Um, I picked up one, it was under $30, so it was basically less than the price of a new fitted cap. Brands change, I've found plenty of them that almost look the same, so I think they're coming from similar manufacturers and maybe just getting different brands applied. And uh, simply comes with um, the unit, which has a uh, like a quarter turn top on it. It's got the nozzle with a few steam holes. It's got a snap-on element with some brushes on it. That's, I think, meant to be part of the garment steaming application. So if you're brushing out wrinkles in a shirt or a suit or something like that, that's where that comes in handy. It's got a small measurement cup for filling and uh, filling uh, filling up with water and uh, adding it to the reservoir. Um, the big thing to note here is that you'll want to use distilled water. So anytime you heat something in a cavity like this, um, the minerals in the water tend to react to the heat. So sometimes there, there can be buildup of that. So anytime you can, just use distilled water. I actually got a new uh, Cincinnati Red 5950 fitted, and I'm gonna try putting that through the normal paces, uh, which I'm really gonna do three or four things. Number one, I'll put it on a hat jack to get kind of my long oval head shape in there. Um, secondly, I'll get the folds out that usually occur on the sides of the cap the way it's been stored in the store with the back folded in to the cap. So I like to steam those wrinkles out. Um, third, I like to curve my visors. So obviously if you like a flat bill, you don't have to worry about that. And then a lot of times I like to uh, shape these upper corners of the crown if it's a hard square crown. So we'll see if I need to do that on that cap or I might just let it ride. So let's take a look at running these steps on this uh, reds cap. To get started, you're going to add some distilled water up to the fill line and then put on the top twist that to lock on the one that I got and then turn on the unit allow about uh, 60 70 seconds for that to heat up and you'll start getting steam always make sure you're wearing gloves before starting a procedure like this here is the Cincinnati Reds cap that I was going to go ahead and shape I've got it on the hat jack and the first thing we're going to do is get some of the folds out that you have when you get a new cap from the store or ship to the house because of the way it's stored. You can steam both sides to get that uh, fold out of there. You can see it rubs right out. And then uh, while we've got it on the, on the hat jack, we're also going to uh, uh, steam the perimeter of the cap and then give the hat jack a couple of cranks um, to stretch the opening of the cap to get that shaped more to my head shape. Now, the last thing we're going to do is actually curve the visor. So I typically use a coffee mug. I'm gonna go ahead and form that onto the coffee mug and then uh, grip it tightly with my uh, thumb and forefingers and then slowly wave it over the openings on this garment steamer. And I did notice I have to get it pretty close to utilize the steam that's on coming out of the steamer. But uh, once I did that, um, let that dry a little bit while holding it on the uh, coffee mug and we're good to go. Anyways, in comparison, I'd still favor the teapot, although this garment steamer seems perfectly capable because heating up the teapot generating all that steam it does heat up the kitchen and if it's summer 
Maybe you want a little smaller unit for that. The, the biggest difference I notice when I'm getting steam from a teapot over the stove is I can keep the heat fairly high. And depending on the size of the aperture on the teapot, I can get a lot more volume of steam. So I feel like it's just a quicker process to shape my caps when I need to, getting the steam from the teapot. The uh, only other thing I notice is that you've got to hold it a little bit closer to do the work that you need to do. And, um, you know, it's just a little more difficult to maneuver and target the areas of the cap that you're trying to shape. So I didn't shape the crown here, but I think it would be a little tougher with this little garment steamer than it was with the teapot. So um, just keep that in mind. So there you go. Hopefully that gives you another tool to consider uh, for shaping your caps. Other than that, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.